Welcome to Perpetual Time, my name is Alexandros Froti and today we're at Tavola on Duke Street which is very close to where I work which is a place that is owned by a lady, a beautiful lady called Maria and today Maria's over here, she won't show her face, no? Today I've got Maria's Rolex which is a 16234 now this watch has been worn by Maria every single day. She wears it at work, she sleeps with it, she goes to the gym with it, she does everything with it. And it needs some TLC, it needs looking after. So this watch needs the full perpetual time treatment, which is basically a full restoration of the white gold bezel, which is something that Rolex will not provide. They will want to replace the bezel and keep your old bezel. Also a full polish and refinish of the case and bracelet. I can also see that there's one link that is actually damaged because it's not been fitted properly and the correct screwdrivers are not being used. So the screw heads are damaged as well. So this will need to be rectified because the way the actual bracelet is, it's actually putting too much wear on one of those links which will actually wear the whole bracelet. Also, the end links need to be uh, repaired. Spring bars, most probably. I will uh, replace the spring bars. New sapphire glass. And also, I need to check the clasp. Now, the clasp on these tend to actually loosen. So the way to tighten them is if you just bend slightly down and it actually tightens the clasp. I wouldn't recommend you do it yourself. You can bring it to somebody such as myself. Also, when these bracelets are fully polished and ultrasonic cleaned, it's always best to check the rivets of the clasp, especially this rivet here, because what happens is this rivet can come loose. So every time I ultrasonic clean after the polish, I always check that rivet and I check the rivet which goes onto the actual clasp here as well because you need to be very careful not to over polish because you can polish the rivet and it can actually come out. The Rolex crown on the clasp needs to be covered with heat tape. A lot of polishers will actually polish over the Rolex crest and it damages the crest itself and it wears away. So it's important that that is heat taped over so every time I come into Tavola, I always see Maria wearing this beautiful Datejust and I, I know exactly what he's doing to this watch. So the first thing I can see is that the end links are protruding out, which means they need to be bent back in, plus the spring bars need to be replaced. Also, full polish, new sapphire glass, recut of the bezel, full ceiling. Now the ceiling is really important because I see a lot of other watchmakers that will do a polish but not test the watch to its correct depth which is absolutely pointless. Plus what's really important on a 16234 Datejust is that the thread for the crown is loctited in as well because what happens is if you don't extract the tube and you polish the case the threading for the tube becomes loose. So even if it passes to its correct depth, that will then come off with the crown, especially if you're on holiday and the whole watch will have water ingress. So now we have completed this Rolex Datejust 16234. So this is the stainless steel Datejust with the white gold fluted bezel. The watch came, came in initially for a full polish of the entire case and bracelet plus a new sapphire glass. Also the white gold bezel was pretty damaged so that's been restored. Now these bezels are not replaced. The actual bezel which is white gold on this one is restored so we laser fill in any dents and then we refinish it, recut it so it brings back the high facets gives that luster as well. So whenever the watch is moved, you can actually see how the light just reflects off the bezel itself. Also, the bracelet has been fully polished. Now, on these bracelets, it's important to get the graining on the outer and then the high finish in the center. Clasp has been re-satinized. The emblem has actually been covered 
So we use a heat tape to cover the emblem, the Rolex symbol, and then we saturnize around it and then we just brush slightly over it. A lot of uh, clasp that you see on these day justs, the actual emblem is worn, not because of the wear, but because of over polishing. So we always avoid polishing the actual Rolex emblem itself. Middle case has been refinished as well, and also the correct graining on the shoulders. Also the case back has been done as well. It's got the satinization on the flat part of the case and then satinization around as well, plus an ultrasonic clean and steam clean. And then the watch is fully pressure checked. So that's a vacuum check. Also sealing from 30 meters up to 100 meters plus a condensation check and a wet test as well. It's important to make sure that the tube on this watch is extracted when polishing, so you don't wear the tube when you're polishing, plus it's re tighted in as well. Also, you need to check how many threads there are from the crown and tube, because if there's only a few threads, then the crown pops out too easily, which can easily come out when you're on holiday. Always make sure that when you're using these watches that the crown is not left out in or near water. So this full case and bracelet restoration took approximately 12 to 15 days to be completed. 28 months to three years warranty. Now, we also actually warranty the parts fitted. Rolex do not provide this. Any parts that are fitted by Rolex and if the part breaks, snaps, say if the mainspring snaps, they will re-quote for a complete full service. We won't, we actually warranty the work that's been provided including the parts fitted as well.